This one is an easy question. It's a two mark question that appeared in 2017 CBSE board exam class 10. What topic did it come from? Came from geometry, concept tested, circles and tangents. Objective, we need to prove something. We need to prove that the tangents drawn at the end points of a chord of a circle make equal angles with the chord. Just first draw this diagram. Let O be the center of the circle. Let P be the external point from which we are drawing two tangents. Let these tangents be PA and PB. Let OA and OB be the radius. This is a property of circles which states that the place where the tangent meets the circle, the point of tangency, the radius drawn at that point will be at right angles to the tangent. Essentially stating that angle OAP is equal to angle OBP which is equal to 90 degrees. The chord that we are talking about is AB. So these two tangents PA and PB have been drawn at the end points of this chord AB. What do we have to prove? We need to prove that angle PAB is equal to angle PBA. That is the objective. This is the objective for us. We need to prove this. Let's get started. Let's look at triangle AOB. What kind of a triangle is AOB? Two of its sides OA and OB end up being radius to the circle which means these two sides are equal in length, which means triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. Two sides are equal, which means correspondingly two opposite angles should be equal. What are those two angles? Those are angles OAB and angle OBA. Let's mark them as angle theta. So these two angles end up being theta and theta. Now look at this. Angle OAP, this entire angle is equal to 90 degrees. A part of it, which is angle OAB is equal to theta. So what is going to be the balance? This is going to be the balance which is equal to 90 minus theta. The balance is nothing but angle PAB. Let's look at the bottom tangent as well. In this tangent as well, the angle OBP is equal to 90 degrees and angle OBA is equal to theta. If angle OBA is equal to theta, the balance should be angle ABP which is equal to 90 minus theta. So we have angle PAB is equal to 90 minus theta. This is 90 minus theta. And we also have angle PBA to be equal to 90 minus theta. So we have proved that angle PAB is equal to PBA. I have mentioned all of this in this diagram. Let's put it in words the way you should be writing in the examination. Right? Let's get on with that. We said that angle OAP is equal to angle OBP is equal to 90 degrees. So you need to mention this to establish that this angle is equal to 90 degrees. The chord that we are talking about is AB. Now let's look at what kind of a triangle is AOB. AOB is isosceles. Why is it isosceles? Because OA and OB are radiated to the circle. So let's say these two angles are equal to, uh, these two sides are equal to R and R, which essentially will translate to the fact that angles OAB and angle OBA are equal and we call those two angles to be equal to theta. Mark this in this diagram. What do we have to find out? We need to find out angle PAB. Angle PAB is the angle made by this tangent with a chord AB. What is angle PAB? It is angle OAP, the entire angle minus angle OAB. Entire angle OAP is equal to 90. Angle OAB is equal to theta. So 90 minus theta is a value of PAB. So this is equal to 90 minus theta. Same establishment when it comes to angle PBA. Angle PBA is equal to OBP minus OBA which is also equal to 90 minus theta. So it proves that angle PAB is equal to angle PBA. What we set out to prove is the fact that tangents PA and PB make equal angles to the chord AB and that has been established. 